Using my Everbee Chrome extension, I can see that this listing is estimated to be making over $97,000 a month. That's right, you heard me correctly, over $97,000 a month, just this one single listing. And this particular shop has over 800 listings in their shop, so that means that the shop is just crushing it on Etsy selling custom printed apparel. We do have to keep in mind that this is estimated revenue, so we don't know what their actual profit is after taking out material costs and fees. As you can see, this listing is for a custom photo to line art design that is printed onto a hoodie. I know that you can create line art from photos using the iPad app Procreate, and it's actually not that difficult to do, but still requires more time and effort than I personally would prefer for custom listings, especially if you're selling at a higher volume. So I scoured the internet looking for a design app that would quickly create this type of line drawing art from a photo. And I found what I think is the best one for recreating this type of line art from a photo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use a design app to quickly produce line art from a photo, how to remove the background and place on a mock-up and print and demand apparel to sell on Etsy. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel. I am a wife and mama of two amazing kiddos, a full-time Etsy seller, now Etsy print and demand coach, here to give you all the tips and tricks to help you to be successful on your own Etsy print and demand journey. Uh, make sure to check out below. I have a free Etsy print and demand starter guide, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Next, you're going to go to the Pixar app and create an account. I have a referral link you can use in the description box as well. Just make sure that you're using the app version for your phone because the browser-based website for Pixar didn't have the same effect that we'll be using to create the line art I'm showing you in this video at the time of this filming. So after you've created your Pixar account, you can go ahead and upload the photo that you would like to create into line art. Next, you're going to navigate to the FX effects at the bottom and select that and then scroll at the bottom until you get to the sketch two effect and then that's the effect that you're going to use to create this line art drawing effect and then you can go in and change the line width so you can make it thicker or thinner i like it a little bit on the thicker side around 22 just because that helps it to print really well on apparel you can also change the color of the line to be sparkles or rainbows or glitter which could be kind of a neat way to add new value to this market however i would use caution with this just because it would make it a little bit more difficult to edit this after the fact if you wanted to use sort of a background color in the lines after you save the photo you can also go in and edit it maybe you want to add a couple more lines you could go ahead and go to the brush effects at the bottom and then you could select a brush that you would like to use and sort of change the size of the brush to match the line the line exactly how you have your line and then you can add lines if you would like to add more you can also take away lines in Canva. Then you're going to save that photo as a JPEG or PNG. Next, you're going to upload your file to Canva, and then you're going to select the image, and then select Edit Image and remove the background. This will help make sure that the design prints with a transparent background so that you can only see those lines. I have this on a 4500 by 5400 Canvas size, and then I'm ready to share this by downloading it with a transparent background. Make it down to my computer here. So I would upload file, and then I am ready to throw that on a mock-up. So you can go ahead and make the design so it's larger like this, or you can make it into a pocket design. So it, I would just scale it down and maybe just throw it in the corner there. And then you can upload that design to Printify. So once again, we can scale that up or down however we'd like. So we can make it larger for the chest area size, or we could scale it down to go to into the pocket. So it could be on this side, depending on how you put it, place it on your mock-up. I think on the mock-up that we did, it's probably better on this side. And then you can go ahead and save that product and publish it to your Etsy shop. And then on Etsy side, I would go in and add those mock-ups that we created in Canva. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to see more in the future. Be sure to check out these other design tutorials I have for you in this playlist and I'll catch you guys there.